Well, hello there, my dear friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. And today I am going to show you the most easiest, foolproof way to cook a beautiful pheasant. Now, pheasants are a plenty at this time of the year. There are tons of them out there. Now, the thing with the pheasant is it's notoriously hard to keep it nice and moist. Reason being, it's a wild animal, it flies, you know, it's not raised on a farm, so there is not a lot of fat on them. So what you will find is, you may be able to cook the legs, they will be perfect, but the breasts will always be a bit dry. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you an easy way, guaranteed, juicy, tender, and we are gonna be poaching this in some chicken stock. Very, very simple. Now, the only thing, the only downside to this is you won't get nice crispy skin as if you were to roast it, but what you will get, and you will see at the end when we cut into it, is absolutely perfect pink juicy meat. And it's so, so simple, and it's a great way of cooking a skinned pheasant. I mean, sometimes a lot of you out there will have loads of pheasants, we haven't got time to pluck them, so you skin them, and this is a great way of cooking them as well. So, first thing we need to do then, very simple, our pheasant is all prepared, what a beauty that is. We need to get a suitable sized vessel, which one a fezzy will sit in, just like that. And then what we need to do then is make up our chicken stock. Now you don't have to go all fancy, I am gonna be using stock cubes. So what I've done then is filled up my pan with water, which my pheasant will sit in. We take that out. And then if you wanna be really technical, you can just measure how much that is and then make up your stock cubes per the packet. But me being me, I reckon I've got what? Two, maybe three pints in there. So I'm gonna use three stock cubes so we will get it on the stove. Now I am cooking this in my cousin's house on an electric hob. Never done it before, always cooked with gas. But hey ho, I live on the edge baby. This is the way we roll. So it really couldn't be any easier. Once your stock is boiling, put in old fezzy. Should fit perfect in there, just like that, look. And what we need to do is to bring that back up to the boil, turn it down to a simmer, and then we will simmer it for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna put it breast side down. So as you can see then, it's just starting to get a little lively. So what I'll do is I wanna turn that heat right down. And like I said, just a little movement in the water. Okay then, as you can see, that's simmering nicely, those bubbles just breaking the surface. There's no anger in the stock, baby. So we just wanna cover it just lightly and we wanna cook that for 15 minutes. So that has been poaching for 15 minutes. I'm just gonna turn it over, he says. Get your hands in there. Come on, you beauty. Now, you could check this with a meat thermometer, but I'm going old school. And all I'm gonna do is in the thick part of the breast, put it in, and we want it to run clear, or just a slight pinkness like that. We don't wanna see blood, because we wanna keep it pink. Pink means moist. Give it another stab there and just give it a push. Personally, I think that's done. So I will take my fezzy out of the stock. Now with this stock, obviously you can really go to town, try some different flavors, get some oriental spices in there, whatever you fancy. But I'm just gonna put that in that bowl and I'm just gonna let it rest for a few minutes then we'll carve into it but as you can see like I was saying what you lack in the crisped up skin you will more than make up for the meat being tender and juicy and again without repeating myself ideal way of cooking your skinned pheasants so that's been uh, resting nicely there's the juices. Now you'll see what I mean by it being tender 
and juicy. So we're just going to take off the legs. Just look at the juice running out there. Straight through. If I can take the drumstick off from the thigh. Then repeat with the other side. Just snapping them out of that ball joint. Getting the tip of the knife in. Oh, it's hot. Just be careful. And then separating again the drumstick in the thigh and chef's prerogative. I'm going to try some and then classic just take the breasts off down the breast plate. Not the best knife in the world. So we don't need that skin. I mean by all means if you want to you could put these in a hot pan and just sear that skin but I just think that will take it over the edge and defeat the object but this now becomes absolutely beautiful you can just see the moisture if I can cut a bit off that thigh taste is awesome just have a look at how juicy that is lovely flavor obviously took on that little bit of chicken stock Mm. Oh, excuse me a minute. I'll have a drumstick. It's absolutely superb. So, we're just going to cut a bit of that breast just so we can show you. It's absolutely cooked to perfection. Beautiful, tender. Mmm. So, so good. Mmm. That's what you get with game, look. I say it a lot. This has not been farmed. It's been shot. You will get a bit of damage. You won't necessarily see it in the carcass. Just look how moist that is. Eh? Pheasant breast. Beautiful. Mmm. It's just so good. Have a bit of this thigh, look. Lovely. Mm. Well, there you have it, my friends. A great, easy way to a guaranteed juicy and tender pheasant. And if you've liked what you've seen here today on the SRP, please click subscribe when my face comes down in this corner. My beautiful face. Also, find me on my social media, on my Facebook, two pages, Scott Ree. And the Scott Reed Project. Get on there, find the follow button and the like button. You can see what I get up to. Also on my Twitter at Scott Reed Project. And if you feel like sharing the love, please check out my Patreon page. The link will be in the description. So until next time, next time you get a pheasant, be it skin on, skin off, give this a go. Mm. You will not be disappointed. Mm. Take care, my friends. All the best.